हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरान्ने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द स्ट्रेंथ एंड एफिशिएंसी ऑफ बोल्टेड कनेक्शंस इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी सॉ हाउ टू फाइंड आउट शेयर स्ट्रेंथ bearing strength of bolts and strength of plate in tension now let us see what do we mean by the strength of bolt okay so we will first see the strength of bolt that is known as bolt value now it is the maximum force which the bolt can resist without failure in a very simple words it is the least value of shear strength of the bolt and bearing strength of the bolt so it is the smaller of vdsb and vdpb that is also known as bolt value that is the strength of the bolt now let us see what do we mean by strength of bolted connections mean strength of bolted joint it is the maximum force which the bolted connection can resist without failure in the simple words it is the least value of strength of bolt in shearing strength of bolt in bearing and strength of plate in tension that is it is the smaller value of vdsb vdpb and tdn now let us see what is the meaning of strength of solid plate now you can very easily see that whenever we are placing the bolts it is necessary to make the holes in those plates due to the holes the strength of the plate reduces okay now when we want to find out strength of solid plate what do we mean by solid plate the plate without holes is known as solid plate so what is the strength of solid plate it is the strength of the plate having no holes at all it is also known as full plate value full plate value how it is calculated full plate value P is equal to point nine into F U. F U means ultimate stress in the material of the plate. Whenever we take F U, it must be multiplied by point nine because there is no reserve strength beyond F U. Into B, B is the width of the plate. Into T, T is the thickness of the plate. Divided by gamma m one, that is. the partial factor of safety for resistance to the ultimate stress now many times what happens in the connection we are not given the width of the plate when b is not given you have to calculate the strength per pitch length okay means we have to consider one pitch so strength per pitch length of this solid plate will be 0.9 into fu into p into t only b will be replaced by p where p is the pitch upon gamma m1 now once you calculate the strength of connection 
and strength of solid plate we can very easily find out the efficiency of the connection or efficiency of the joint the efficiency of the connection or the efficiency of the joint is the ratio of strength of connection to the strength of the solid plate expressed as a percentage therefore efficiency is calculated as strength of the joint multiplied by 100 because we have to express it in percentage divided by strength of solid plate that is full plate value or p okay so this is how we can find out strength of bolt strength of bolted joint or bolted connection strength of solid plate and efficiency of solid plate now let us try to understand it more deep with the help of an example so let us take an example a single bolted lab joint is used to connect 10 mm thick plates if 20 mm diameter bolts of grade 4.6 are used at a pitch of 60 mm determine the strength and efficiency of the joint the grade of the plate is AP410 Okay, now what is given in this problem? We are given the diameter is 20, therefore diameter of hole will be 20 plus 2 that is 22 mm. Thickness of the plate is given that is 10 mm. As the grade of the bolt is 4.6. 4 multiplied by 100 will be ultimate stress in the material of the bolt that is 400 Newton per mm square. If you is the ultimate strength of the plate 410 Newton per mm square, pitch is given 60 mm. Net area at the threads for 20 mm is 245 mm square. Now here it is clearly given that single bolted lab joint in case of lab joint the bolts are subjected to single shear therefore you can very easily see that NN plus NS is equal to 1 if you don't remember I will remind you what is NN number of shear planes which intercept the thread and NS means number of shear planes which do not intercept the threads. I have already explained you in the video of shear strength of bolt when nothing is given it is to be assumed that the shear planes are intercepting the threads therefore NN is equal to 1 because NS is equal to 0. Okay, now design shear strength of bolt is calculated as VDHB, which is FUB upon root 3 into gamma MB into bracket NN into ANB plus NN into ASB. What are the values? In this case, FUB is equal to 400 gamma mb is equal to 1.25 nn is equal to 1 anb is equal to 245 okay ns is 0 so nsb is also 0 asb is also uh, asb ns into asb is 0 and if you divide this by 1000 you will get the value of VDSB in kilonewton as 
45.26. This is the first one. That is sheer strength of the bolt. Now we have to find out bearing strength of the bolt or strength of the bolt in bearing. For that purpose, we will have to first find out the bearing factor Kb. Okay. What is Kb? For Kb, you require pitch and edge distance. Pitch is given 60 mm. Edge distance, I will assume 1.5 times D0. Assuming that the edges are plain or machined. So 1.5 into 22 will be 33 mm. We know that Kb is minimum of four things. E upon 3D0. Second, pitch upon 3D0 minus 0.25. Third is ultimate stress in the material of the bolt divided by stress in the material of the plate and 1. If you calculate all these four things, you will come to know that value of Kb is 0.5. The thickness of the plate is 10 mm. Both the plates are 10 mm thick. So Tp is equal to 10 mm. Now, as usual, write the formula of VDPB that is the design bearing strength in the bolt is equal to 2.5 into Fu into D into Tp into Kb divided by gamma mb fu is equal to what is fu 410 what is diameter here 20 mm what is tp here 10 mm what is kb we have calculated 0.5 mm and gamma mb is 1.25 and divided by 1000 to get the value in kilo newton and you will find that the value of vdpb is 80 kilo newton let us say this is the second thing which we have calculated Now we have calculated VDSB and VDPB. We want to calculate TDN now. TDN means strength of plate in tension. Now here width of the plate is not given. Therefore, we will consider one pitch length. As far as tension is concerned, the critical section will be passing through the holes and you will have to calculate the net area at the critical section. We are considering one piece length. The net area of the plate at critical section AN is equal to pitch minus N times D0 into T. P is the pitch. N means how many number of bolts are there. Now here, as it is single bolted lap joint, N will be 1. D0 is known. So 60 minus 22 multiplied by thickness 10. It comes out to be 380 mm square. Now, what is the strength of plate in tension per pitch length that is TDN? Again, whenever you are considering FU, it must be multiplied by 0.9. So, 0.9 into FU multiplied by AN divided by gamma M1. That is partial factor of safety for resistance to the ultimate stress. And it is found that if you substitute all these values, the value of TDN comes out to be 112.18 kilo newton this is the third one now we have calculated vdsb we have calculated vdpb and we have calculated tdn the least value of these three will be the strength of the bolted connection and therefore the strength of the connection is least of one two and three and you will find that it is 45.26 kilo newton. Okay. Now we have to calculate strength of solid plate per pitch length. Now what is strength of solid plate per pitch length? We know it is 0.9 into Fu into P into T divided by gamma M1. So 0.9 into Fu, what is Fu? 410, what is pitch? 60, what is T? 10 divided by gamma M1 is 1.25 divided by 1000 for converting it into kilo newton and you will find that its value comes out to be 177.12 kilo newton now once you calculate the strength of bolted connection 
and strength of solid plate. If you take the ratio of them, express it as percentage, it will be efficiency. Therefore, efficiency of the connection is equal to strength of the connection into 100 divided by strength of solid plate. Put the values 45.26 into 100 upon 177.12, it comes out to be 25.56%. Okay? So, this is how we can find out the strength and efficiency of bolted connection. This particular problem for was for lab joint. Let us solve one more problem to find out strength and efficiency. Now for this problem, I will only give you the hint and answers. You will calculate. Okay. So let us see what is the problem. Two plates of thickness 12 mm are connected using double cover butt joint. Means one cover plate at top, one cover plate at bottom. So these are the two plates and these green cover plates are there. One at top, one at the bottom. Using 16 mm diameter bolts of grade 4.6 as shown in the figure. Determine the strength and efficiency of the joint. Now let us see in details what is given in the figure. This is double cover but joint. Width of the plate is given. What is the width of the plate in this case? Width of the plate B is equal to 35 plus 120 plus 35 that is 190. Okay. Pitch is given as 60. Age distance is given as 35. Each cover plate is 6 mm thick. Okay. Now I will give you the hints with the help of which you will be able to solve the problems. Now this is a double cover but joint and as this is double cover but joint the bolts will be in double shear. Now as the bolts are in double shear NN plus NS is equal to 2. Nothing is clearly mentioned in the problem. So we will take NS is equal to 0 that is Nn is equal to 2, that is both the shear planes will intercept the threads. Second important point in this particular problem is, here whenever you will calculate the strength of bolt in shearing and bearing, you will calculate it for one bolt and then you will multiply by 4, because for this complete width, it is to be multiplied by 4. Okay? So use your normal formula for VDSB. What is that formula? FUB upon root 3 into bracket NN into ANB plus NN into ASB divided by gamma MB. Okay? Now all these values are known to you. In this case, FUB will be 4 into 100, that is 400. Gamma MB is 1.25. NN into ANB, NN will be 2 here. ANB for 16 mm diameter, ANB is 157 mm square. NS is 0. This will be the shear strength of 1 bolt. We have got 4 bolts, so into 4 you will get VDSB and that value will be 232 kilonewton. You calculate it. I have told you how to do it. Okay. Now, for calculating VDPB, again 4 bolts, so you will multiply by 4. But first you will have to find out the bearing factor that is Kb. Now here pitch is given as, what is the value of pitch given here is 60.
ओके वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ई इज थर्टी फाइव ओके नाउ let us find out kb which will be minimum of four things the first one is uh, age distance upon 3 times d0 here d is equal to 16 mm so d0 will be 16 plus 2 that is 18 mm second one is pitch upon 3 times d0 minus 0.25 third value is the ratio of fub and fu and fourth value is 1 if you calculate these four values you will come to know that the value of kb is 0.65 now once you calculate kb you can find out vdpb for that purpose you will have to calculate tp now tp will be minimum of thickness of the cover plates two cover plates that is 6 plus 6 and main plates so that is also 12 12 so tp will be is equal to 12 calculate vdpb by the usual formula what is the formula 2.5 into fu into d into tp into kb divided by gamma mb now you know that If you is four one zero diameter is sixteen kb is point sixty five. Okay, tp is twelve and gamma mb is one point twenty five. Substitute all these value multiplied by four. This is very important thing. Why multiplied by four? Because there are four volts, and you will find that vdpb will come out to be. Four zero nine point thirty five four kilo newton. So this is one. This is two. Now we have to find out the strength of the plate in tension. Now whenever you are calculating strength of the plate in tension, you will have to consider the critical section and critical section. will be the one which will be passing through these two okay now what will be an that is the net area along the critical section now this b is known that is 190 minus two bolt holes are there minus 2 into bracket diameter of the hole is 18 so what will be an 190 minus 2 into 18 multiplied by t that is 12 that will be an once you calculate an an multiplied by 0.9 into fu upon gamma mb will be tdn please keep the most important point while calculating tdn you have not to multiply by 4 because tdn is the critical section and at critical section only two bolt holes are intersecting while calculating vdsb you have to multiply by 4 into 1 volt vdpb 4 into 1 volt but while calculating tdn you have not to multiply by 4 please keep in mind okay and in this manner the tdn will come out to be 545.53 kN this is number 1 this is number 2 this is number 3 least of the 3 is 232 which is the strength of the bolted connection or strength of the bolted joint so this is one answer strength of the joint
सो इंस्टेड ऑफ शोइंग सॉल्विंग आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू सॉल्व एंड आई हैव गिवन द की वैल्यूज सो यू प्लीज ट्राई टू डू इट एट होम एंड फाइंड आउट वेदर दे आर करेक्ट और नॉट नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इफिशियंसी फॉर दैट पर्पज वी विल हैव टू कैलकुलेट फुल प्लेट वैल्यू दैट इज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द प्लेट विदाउट होल्स If there are no holes, what will be the strength? It is very simple. How you will be calculating it? 0.9 into Fu. Whenever you are taking Fu, you have to multiply it by 0.9. Okay? So 0.9 into Fu into B into T divided by gamma mb. Here B is 120 plus 35 plus 35. That is 190. T is twelve. Fu is four one zero into point nine divided by gamma mb is one point twenty five divided by ten raised to three. You will get in kilonewton. Whenever we are calculating in kilonewton, you have to divide by one thousand. And that full plate value will come out to be six seventy three point zero six kilonewton. Now we have to calculate efficiency. Efficiency is the ratio of strength of the joint to the full plate value expressed as a percentage. So, percentage efficiency will be 232 into 100 upon 673.06, and that will come out to be 34.47. So, this is the second answer. So, this is how you can solve this problem. So, in this particular video. we have solved one problem to find out strength and efficiency of lap joint and second problem strength and efficiency of double cover butt joint okay so this is also a good method in which more stress is given on the explanation rather than to writing so i have given all the key values you please try to solve this at home and calculate the things and verify the things if they are correct or not do you understand this okay so with this we will stop for this video and in the next video we will see how to design the bolted connection and some examples thank you